Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and I'd like to talk about the lateral ulnar collateral and the radial collateral ligaments. This is a patient who had bilateral elbows, and it's pretty good to go over the anatomy because there's a tear on this side, and this side it looks like there may be a mild sprain, but not a tear. And so we have a fighting chance to see this anatomy, which is usually pretty difficult. So on this elbow, we see the medial side. This is the medial epicondyle. This is the medial ulnar collateral ligament. This is the sublime tubercle where it attaches. Now if we go over to the lateral side, the lateral ulnar collateral ligament comes off here, it wraps behind the radius, and it turns upwards, and it attaches over here on the humerus. It attaches deep to this common extensor tendon. And the common extensor tendon, the radial collateral ligament, and the lateral ulnar collateral ligament all blend together into just a glob here. Now in this patient, they do have bright signal in their common extensor tendon, a little longitudinal intersubstance tear and also some tendinopathy here. And so we can see these deeper ligamentous structures uh, separated. And so this is the radial collateral ligament here. You can see it coming off the edge of the radius, going up right here and attaching to the humerus. If we go back a little bit, this may be part of it, and this may also be getting into the lateral ulnar collateral ligament. And here it is going around the bend. This is, again, it comes back up here, wraps around, and comes on up, so this is probably part of it here. This is part of it here, and right at the attachment there is some bright signal, so it may be a mild sprain there at the origin, but um, it doesn't look like it's completely torn. And we do see a little bit of fluid here in the radiocapitellar joint, and so this may be lax with a little bit of extra space here, but this is not so bad. Now if we look on the other side, we see that the ligaments are torn. So let's go to the medial side here. This patient had a little partial tear of their medial ulnar collateral ligament. The sublime tubercle, I have another video where I showed this. And if we go to the other side, we see this wrapping around. This is the lateral ulnar collateral ligament, looping around backwards. We see it actually better than I typically see it. Wraps around the back, it comes up here, and then it stops. Right here, there's the end of it. Probably why we see this is because it's torn and retracted back a little bit, and it's lax and a little bit thickened in this area. So it's a ruptured lateral ulnar collateral ligament. If we go forward, forward again, looking for that radial collateral ligament and maybe right here part of it and the attachment we just don't really see very well and also the joint is a little bit widened here so they have a ruptured lateral ulnar collateral ligament and I believe also a rupture of the radial collateral ligament. Now over that we see the common extensor tendon. The undersurface fibers are frayed and irregular, so irregular and thickened here. And again, the outer fibers, the super, superficial fibers of the common extensor tendon, most of those, the bulk of those are intact. So it really is a relatively isolated tear, the um, lateral ulnar collateral ligament and radial collateral ligament and just partial thickness tearing of those undersurface fibers. So that is it, a ruptured lateral uh, ligamentous complex over here and maybe a mild sprain on this side. Right, thank you very much.